Tesla just revealed a good news and bad news about its battery production. I mean the 4680 battery production. There is a bright side, however. So Tesla announced yesterday that it aims to start 4680 battery cell production at Gigafactory Texas this quarter and quickly ramp up to volume production by the end of the year. Over the last few months, Tesla has been fairly quiet about the production of its new 4680 battery cell that enables its new structural battery pack design. This has been a concern for Tesla investors since the new battery technology is seen as critical to Tesla's future vehicle programs. The concerns grew larger as the automaker launched Model Y production at Gigafactory Berlin with the old architecture based on 2170 cells and after launching Model Y production at Gigafactory Texas with 4680 cells. It recently added the production of Model Y vehicles with the old architecture at the Austin factory also. Everything pointed to Tesla having major issues ramping up production of the new and much bigger battery cells with which we had lots of hopes of energy density and bigger range. Much of Tesla's conference called yesterday with analysts and shareholders for the release of its quarter through 2020 financial results resolved around, actually revolved around the 4680 cell. The automaker confirmed that it is having issues ironing out production processes for new technologies in the cell, including its dry electrode technology. That's the bad news. Tesla wouldn't confirm its current 4680 cell production rate, but it did confirm that it is still not enough to produce 1000 vehicles per week, which would put the annual production capacity at less than 4 gigawatt hour, but it aims to achieve that well before the end of the year. That was a quote, well before the end of the year. On the bright side, which is the good news, Drew Baglino, Tesla's senior vice president, powertrain and engineer, energy engineering, confirmed that the automaker plans to officially start production of the 4680 cell at Gigafactory Texas this quarter. That's the good news. Here is the quote. Manufacturing lines were further integrated and we insourced additional content. For this reason, there are some new ramp challenges to overcome in Texas and Berlin, specific to Texas last quarter. Cell equipment was fully installed and commissioned and we produced our first commissioning car sets of cells through the end of the line. Our target for Texas is to begin production this quarter and aim for Texas to be capable of exceeding Cato weekly output before the end of this year. End of the good. Cato refers to Tesla's current pilot production factory for the 4680 cell on Cato Road in Fremont, California. At this Torque News channel, I've had lots of reports about how things were going at Cato Road facility in Fremont, California, which is just a few blocks away from Tesla's Fremont factory. The fact that Tesla plans for 4680 cell production at Gigafactory Texas to exceed production from the Cato facility by the end of the year is particularly impressive, considering the automaker also disclosed today that production in Cato increased 35% month over month each month since March. Tesla always meant to learn from the production at the pilot facility and deployed more advanced and higher volume production lines in both Gigafactory Texas and Gigafactory Berlin. What do you think, friends, about all these things and the good side, good um, part and the bad part? Now, the good thing is Tesla aims to start 4680 battery cell production at Gigafactory Texas this quarter. Do you expect longer range Teslas after that? This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you. And I'll see you soon in our next report. There is a particular Tesla model, which is the fastest selling used car on the market today, according to one study. Tesla dominated the used vehicle market in June 2022 with its Model Y midsize SUV. 
The fastest selling used vehicle was the Model Y last month in a list ruled by electric vehicles and hybrids. That means a lot of people are buying electric vehicles and hybrids as they lead that particular list. So according to an IC Cars study, the average used car took 52.1 days to sell in June 2022, a little longer compared to May when used cars took 50.4 days to sell. Both new and used car prices rose in June over May as inventory constraints continue to plague the new and used car market. Rising interest rates and high gas prices have also heightened demand for more efficient and affordable vehicles, said IC Cars executive analyst Carl Brower. The study analyzed 224,000 new and used cars sold last month and found that used car prices increased by 10.5% compared to June 2021. The average price for used cars also slightly increased compared to May 2022 from $34,119 to $34,154 in June 2022. So the top 20 fastest selling used vehicles in June 2022. Tesla Model Y is the first on the list. Average days to sell is 24.9 days to sell a 20, uh, Tesla Model Y. And the average price is $69,784. Toyota Prius Prime is the second. It takes about 25 days to sell an average Toyota Prius Prime with $31,867 for um, uh, average price. Then comes Ford Mustang Monkey, great car I've tested. Then comes Toyota Prius, Tesla Model 3 comes number five. Tesla Model X comes number six. Mazda, Mazda 3 sedan comes number seven. Then Kia K5 number eight. Then Toyota Highlander Hybrid number nine. And Acura ILX number 10. As you can see, the fastest selling used vehicle list is dominated by electric cars. Tesla Model Y number one, Toyota Prius Prime number two, Ford Mustang Mach-E number three. Now, despite being well above the price of the average used car, the Tesla Model Y was the best-selling vehicle in the market. Used Tesla Model Y vehicles sold for an average price, like I said, $69,784. For comparison, a new Tesla Model Y all-wheel drive long-range cost $65,990, while the performance variant starts at $69,990 as of uh, this year report. The study compiled a list of the top 20 fastest selling used cars. Cars on the list sold an average of 31.7 days, selling 1.4 to 2 times faster than other used vehicles. Used Tesla Model Y vehicles sold after around 24.9 days on average. Brower speculates that the estimated delivery dates for new Tesla Model Y units are elevating demand for used vehicles. That means as it takes longer time to deliver Tesla Model Y, that elevates the demand for used vehicles. That's why you saw the used average Tesla Model Y sold for 69,000, while a new Tesla Model Y all-wheel drive long range costs $65,900. The estimated delivery time for a new Model Y long range is between January and April 2023. People don't want to wait. The performance variance delivery estimates lie between August to October 2022. Besides the model Besides, I'm sorry, my phone rang next to me. So besides the Model Y, Tesla's used Model 3 and Model X cars also made it onto the studies list. Used Model 3 vehicles came in fifth place, selling at an average of 27.7 days at around $52,216. Meanwhile, used Tesla Model X units took about 28 days to sell on average at around $90,089. So what do you think, friends? Let me know 
know your thoughts. I think this is very exciting. It's a kind of um, slippery road, these people buying new cars and then immediately selling them for a profit. I don't know, basically turning into a more expensive GPU scalping situation. Again, I guess some people say in Tesla Rally uh, uh, comment section below. Now, uh, if they want to deal with the wait times for new Tesla, then turn around and sell it, I guess. I feel like they'd be making a very small amount of money over a long period of time. I don't know. What do you think, friends? This is Armin Hari. I'm from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. God bless you, everyone, and I'll see you soon in our next report.